Hello class, I'm creating this video to help you with number 15 from your homework. Uh, so it says calcium is essential to tree growth for blah 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 blah. In 1990 it looks like there were um, 0.15 milligrams per liter of calcium and they took a random sample of 10 precipitation dates in 2007 and it looks like the data is going to be arranged in this table and we want to see if the concentration of calcium, calcium precipitation has changed since 1990, right? So the null hypothesis, it looks like we're talking about a mean. So we're going to use the little mu sign. And the test is simple. is either equal to 0.15, right? Meaning uh, there has been no change, right? Because this is what it was in 1990, 0.15. And we want to know, is it still 0.15 in 2007? So the alternative hypothesis would be it does not equal. Um, I check my answer. Well done. Uh, to construct, uh, construct the confidence interval, uh, we can click on the table to get our data and open this data up in StatCrunch, right? And then we can do um, stat, here's my data, tstat, right? One sample with data, right? Because all of my data is stored in that column var1. And we want to check the confidence interval button. It's a 95% uh, level of confidence. So I can make sure this is 95 or 0.95. Compute. And look at that. We get uh, our lower limit and our upper limit. It says to round, um, I think, four decimal places. So one, two, three, four. So I have to round that up to a seven. One, two, three, four. And then the upper limit. If I can find it, here we go. And again, we have to round this to four decimal places. So let's see, one, two, three, four. I think that's good. Right? One, two, three, four. Okay. So I will check my answer. Well done. Now, we have to uh, basically decide do we accept or reject the null hypothesis? So we're testing uh, at the 0.15, right? We want to know were there 0.15 milligrams of this uh, calcium in the precipitation. Uh, so since 0.15 falls in between the lower and upper bound, we can't reject HL. Therefore, we have to accept HL. So does the evidence suggest that the calcium concentrations have changed? The answer is going to be no, right? Because the interval contains the 0.15, right? 0.15 is somewhere in between this interval. If 0.15 was not in between the interval, then we could reject HO, but we can't reject HO. So that means we accept HO, which means there's been no change. Check answer. Great job. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching.